6 and 12. What is the, they're asking us, what is the relationship of 6 and 12, of angle 6 and angle 12? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to circle them. All right. So we have angle 6 and we have angle 12. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if we're dealing with angle 6 and angle 12, we know that we have two lines and we're crossing by a transversal. So well, a lot of times that I say, you know, take a sheet of paper, cover it up. I have an eraser, so I'm just going to erase it. But we don't need to worry about, we don't need to worry about those other two. Let's just look at 6 and 12. Now, when we were determining our angle relationships, there's one thing we talked about. We talked about interior and exterior. So when you're looking at angles 6 and 12, are they interior or exterior angles? Exterior. Exterior, right? Then, are they on the same side of the transversal, or are they on alternating sides of the transversal? Alternating. So since they're alternating and they're exterior, we can call them alternate exterior angles. So you could say angle 6 and angle 12 are alternate exterior. OK? Make sense? Good? Q means they're not on the same line or the same plane. Yes.